Yo, all Snapchat fam, just because I like you so much, I'm going to give you two stories today. The first is going to be the future of Flux, and the second is going to be this brain on a chip, which is a, a talk I saw last night. It's really trippy. Let's go. So, Flux is a new political party that's running for election uh, this year, uh, but I actually see it more than that. It's actually a tool. So, it's a blockchain based tool for uh, people to vote on a policy by policy basis. I've known one of the co-founders, Max K, for quite a while. He's a really awesome dude. Um, I've met him through like city theory meetups and all the blockchain, Ethereum, Hackagon stuff that, yeah, all mixes and merges. Okay, you should still definitely vote for Science Party, mainly because I'm running, a little bit biased, but let me explain to you why Flux is awesome. So the way our entire political system works right now is just really shit. I mean, it's you get to vote once every four years, everyone feels like their vote doesn't count because it goes towards a two-party system, and then you have no say for four fucking years. It's a top-down system where the people in charge have absolutely no idea what they're talking about. They're career politicians, they're typically lawyers, um, they're not, they have no expertise in what they're talking about. So what Flux is, it's, a, um, it's a, an app, like a mobile app you download, where you can vote on every single issue that's, that comes across um, members of parliament in parliament. <laughs> so it's kind of like a little bit more of a sophisticated poll, um, where anyone in the electorate can basically vote on an issue, and then that gets sent to the representative who can see clearly what their electorate wants. Or well, what you can also do is assign your voting privileges, your voting rights, I guess, to a third party, to a trusted representative who will vote on your behalf. And then you can go in and change that preference at any time. But see, the cool thing is this is more than just a normal poll. Anyone could make a poll and it'd be boring. But the whole thing is powered on the back end by a blockchain. And so it's transparent, trusted, and public and open. Whoops, so Snapchat messed up and lost half that story. So I'm gonna have to redo them on my way back home. <laughs> Okay, so Flux is running candidates for both the upper and lower house, and the idea is if any of them get elected, they don't have any official party policy, it gets voted on by the people using the app, which is really cool. But so what they should do post-election, I've already talked to Max about this, is they should lobby the parties, uh, all like minor and major parties, to use Flux as a way to poll their electorates to work out what the people in their electorates actually want. So for example, if I get elected to Cunningham, what I want to do is use Flux for every single vote and every single legislation that comes before Parliament, use Flux to poll my electorate and see what they think about it. So engagement's always going to be an issue because you're essentially asking the public to vote on a policy by policy basis every single you know, piece of legislation that comes into parliament. But it's a great way to gauge what people actually think. As a political representative, I'd still, I'd still be able to like vote against the election, the electric data, the polling data, but that would be on public record and everyone could see that I voted against what everyone wanted. And therein lies the cool thing because it actually starts incentivizing people, um, politicians, to vote along with the flux data. And so because the Flux polling data is all open and transparent on the blockchain, you could create a website that actually shows exactly how politicians voted and how it compares to what their electorate Flux data was. And so you could very easily, you could quickly see which politicians are actually voting in favour of their electorate and what they want. Um, and so if, you know, if they're not voting with you, then you just vote them out. And so you end up with politicians following what the people want. So now if, if Flux scales up and solves the proof of individuality issue, like one person, one vote, and ties it to, to local elections all around the world, they could create a global governance DAO. Like imagine if this system were used at all levels of government around the world in every single country from local to you know, state to federal to national to international and every single person could vote on every issue and have it accounted. 7 billion people voting on issues as small as like how to fix this pothole to should we create a Mars colony and then who do we elect to represent us, the experts, the specialists in that field to make that thing happen. Like perhaps it'll start with the politicians who want to stay in power, they end up following all the flux data just you know verbatim, otherwise they'll get voted out because people see that they're voting against you know what the people want. But then over time that actually starts deconstructing the whole top-down uh, structure of government, it becomes a more self-organising system where we could actually maybe just vote in people on a per-topic basis to go and fix that problem, not to represent us before. Dot dot dot, we end up with like a global governance DAO where the human species become a, a self-organising uh, collective intelligence that governs itself. It's not before it's actually